Hey there, Louis Acapellas here. Thanks for stopping by. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can join a Microsoft Teams meeting from the Microsoft Teams mobile application. Now, before we get started, if you find this tutorial helpful, please hit that thumbs up button below and be sure to subscribe to my channel to stay up to date on the latest Microsoft Teams tutorials. Also, be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Luigi Acapellas to make sure that you don't miss out on any of my new content. Last but not least, if you're interested in learning more about the tools that I use to produce these videos, check out the links in the description below. Now let's go ahead and let's get started. All right, now to join a meeting from the Microsoft Teams mobile application, the first thing that you want to do is you want to open up your meeting invitation. You can see here in this meeting invite, if I scroll down, the Microsoft Teams meeting information is at the bottom and specifically there is a link that says click here to join the meeting so you want to go ahead and click that in order to join the meeting now what you're going to notice is that i am being prompted to choose how i want to open this meeting and my options are to open in my default mobile browser which in this case is microsoft edge or i can click on the teams application now I am going to go ahead and click on Edge just for demonstration purposes. And I'll go ahead and click just once. And what you are going to see is that because I have the Microsoft Teams mobile app installed, it is actually going to force open the app and prompt me to join the meeting using the mobile application, okay? Now what you can see here is the typical pre-meeting entry screen and this is where you can choose how you want to enter this meeting so specifically you can choose to toggle your video feed on or off just by pressing the little camera icon you can also choose whether you want to be muted upon entry or unmuted and you can easily switch that just by clicking the little microphone sign and the last option here is device. Clicking this is going to ask you to choose how you would like to hear the audio from this meeting. So by default, you can see the check mark next to device. Essentially what this means is that the audio from this meeting is going to play through your mobile phone earpiece. If perhaps you wanted to play the audio through your device speaker, you could check that option. Uh, or if you wanna have the audio turned off altogether, then you can go ahead and do that. Now, if you were connected via Bluetooth, so if you had uh, Bluetooth headphones connected, for example, you would also see Bluetooth as an option here as well. Now, I'll just go ahead and click device. And now to actually join this meeting, you wanna go ahead and click join now. And you can see here that I'm now in the meeting on my Microsoft Teams mobile application, okay? Uh, now the interface isn't all that different from the meeting interface when you're joining from the Microsoft Teams desktop application. You'll notice at the bottom, you can turn your video feed on or off. You can mute or unmute yourself. And again, we already saw the speaker icon, which is how you want the audio uh, to be played on your device. Uh, next, what we'll do is we will actually permit a guest to join the meeting. Now, I am the scheduler of this meeting, and so I have invited a guest to this meeting, and you can see at the very top of the screen, it says guests are waiting to join, view lobby, so I can go ahead and click that, okay? And I can click on Joe Smith guest, and you'll see at the bottom, I can choose to admit Joe to this meeting or I can decline it and he will not be permitted to join this meeting. So even as the organizer of the meeting, you can still manage sort of your participants uh, and the waiting room. So I'll go ahead and click on admit. And you can see now that Joe has joined the meeting. Now to go back, I'm just going to press on this back arrow here and that's going to bring me back into the meeting. Now, the next thing that we'll look at is how to send a chat message to your meeting participants. So at the very top of the screen, you would have noticed the little chat bubble. Now that disappeared and to bring it back, all you need to do is actually just tap on your screen and that's going to bring that bar back. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on that chat bubble and I can go ahead and view the chat for this meeting and I can send a message 
to the participants, again, just like I would if I was joining um, from the desktop application. And you can see here that Joe responded to my message. Now, you'll notice I have the option to drag the little meeting window around on my screen. You can just hold it and drag it around. And at any point to get back into the meeting, you just wanna double tap on that icon and it's going to bring you back into the meeting. Now, the next thing we'll look at is how to view the participants in this meeting. And all you want to do is click on the little participant icon to the right of the chat bubble. And again, that's going to bring us back into the meeting participant window. Now you'll notice here, I can see uh, who is currently in this meeting. So I can see Joe Smith is here and he's currently muted. If I press Joe Smith, um, I can remove him from the meeting, again, provided that I'm the organizer, which in this case I am. I can make him an attendee, uh, or I could choose to pin his video feed if it was turned on. If I wanted to add somebody to the meeting from my mobile device, I can just click on add people and then select from my contact list and easily add somebody to this meeting as well. Now I will go back into the meeting window. The next thing that we'll look at is the more options button. So this is the three little dot icon to the left of the red uh, end call or leave meeting button. So you wanna go ahead and press that and you'll notice what you can do here or you can use meeting reactions, which are these little uh, animated emojis right at the top. So I'll go ahead and give a thumbs up and you can see there I did uh, give a thumbs up. Okay, I can actually initiate a recording of this meeting by clicking on the start recording button. So I'll go ahead and do that. And you can see at the top of the screen, it says recording is about to start. And you can see now that the recording has actually been initiated. If I press on the more actions button, again, the three little dots, um, I can stop the recording by pressing stop recording. And it's going to save that uh, recording of this meeting in the chat history for this meeting record. Uh, the other thing I can do from my mobile phone is I can actually share my screen by clicking on this share button. So if I go ahead and click share, okay, I can either share a photo, share a video. I could even share PowerPoint slides if they were saved on my phone or just share my screen altogether by clicking on the share screen button. So again, you're not really losing out on a ton of functionality um, from joining a Teams meeting on the mobile device. Now the last thing that I'll show you, which is a feature that was recently released is the share whiteboard feature. So this is actually pretty cool. Uh, so clicking on this is going to bring up the mobile Microsoft whiteboard and I can easily draw or annotate on this whiteboard and individuals in this meeting are actually going to see this in real time. Okay, so this is a feature that was recently released, the ability to um, annotate and access the Microsoft whiteboard. Now again, at any point that you want to return to the meeting, you just wanna follow the prompts. So you can see here at the top, it says tap to return to meeting, or I can just press the back button. And there you go, I'm back on the main meeting screen. Now you'll notice that it says I'm still uh, sharing the whiteboard. So I can either reopen that whiteboard or I can just stop share. In this case, I'll press stop share and that's going to end me sharing the whiteboard with the participants. Now, the last thing that I will show you is just how the mobile app will display content that is being shared uh, from somebody who is joining from the Microsoft Teams desktop application. And so I am currently joined in this meeting uh, as a guest. So Joe Smith is me just from my computer. And what I'll do is I'll just open a Word doc and go ahead and share my screen uh, so that you can see that as well. And so you can see here that I have shared my screen and it renders pretty nicely on the mobile app and I can even pinch to zoom in uh, if I'm struggling to view content or to read content on the screen. All right, so that's it. Uh, this was just a quick tutorial showing you how to join a Microsoft Teams meeting using the Microsoft Teams mobile application. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please like it and be sure to subscribe to my channel to stay up to date on the latest Microsoft Teams tutorials. I'm Louis Yacobelis. Thanks for stopping by. Talk soon.